What's going on everybody this is Mehul and welcome to your 38th AngularJS tutorial in which we'll be finally starting off with our custom directives. Now we already know what directives are. You can see as well the ng app is a directive, the controller, ng controller is a directive and we have used a lot of more directives as well in the past including the ng model or the ng bind. So all of these directives as you can see are prefixed by the ng that means they belong to the angular library but in AngularJS you can actually create your own directives as well and directives pretty much you know allow you to customize your HTML and make it a lot more dynamic so for example let's say you have a website on which you you know usually have to parse some JSON response data from the web server into a beautiful table and you already have the styles ready so what would you do you can't always you know just create a controller and then go to your script files and then do a whole lot of coding and again just for another table do the same so what you can do is you can simply create a directive called you know my table and then what you can do is you can just you know with your div class table and just add your directive like that so that would automatically turn your JSON script into a table well enough of talking let's get started with a simple hello world program in AngularJS with the help of a custom directive so first of all let me just get rid of this okay so the first thing you need to do when you are creating a custom directive is you need to decide a name so for example when I write app.directive and here goes the name just like we do for controller or any factory or whatever and here goes the function definition and right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna return an object and this object is the master you can say all of that work all of that working of your directive is programmed right here so the naming convention about this directive is that let's say you have um, you want to name your HTML tag or HTML directive as let's say div class something and then you want the directive to be named as my first directive now to do that what you, ca what you have to do is inside here you have to make use of camel casing and for those who don't know what camel casing is camel casing is basically just capitalizing each word <coughs> of your <coughs> sorry of your string with um, uh, by replacing a dash or whatever there is between so for example let's say you have a string my first <coughs> script and you want to camel case that so what you have to do is just write my and then instead of this dash write the capital F first and instead of this dash write a capital S so this is the camel cased version of this string so similarly in angular js we make use of the camel casing instead of this and <coughs> when you make use of camel casing you have to use dashes in html so to make this directive available what you have to type here is my first script now right here <coughs> what we have to do is we have to simply return a template just like we used to do in the routers so while routing in AngularJS I showed you that we can make use of template template and you can pretty much return anything you want and it would be shown up on the screen so similarly with here as well we can do the same thing so if I do like template hello world and if I run the script on the browser okay so we have a mismatch right here never mind so you see we get a hello world here with this angular.js directive so so yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and we'll be covering a lot more on custom directives in AngularJS. 
soon so that's all for this and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then